Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Allison and figured I would vlog today because we are actually picking up a new foster pet. I am so excited. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know we have been fostering dogs for a little over a year now. We started fostering in like September of 2019, like before the world got crazy. And we've had five five dogs so far they have all found their homes if you guys have missed it or you just want to see all of our previous fosters i have a whole highlight on my instagram where i introduce you guys you can learn all about them kind of see where they ended up they all found their homes i get like pictures from their owners all the time they're like i don't know i just we've loved doing it it's been so amazing i have never really vlogged the experience before so i figured oh, why not take you guys along for today we're gonna go pick up a cat actually but i am on my way to pick up our little cat her name is star and she actually was a feral cat before which means she lived on the street she didn't have any human interaction and she had kittens so she got rescued and she's been with this other foster for a pretty long time now they got her a couple weeks before she had her babies she had her babies about four ish months ago so now that she's done having her babies they kind of want to move her into another foster home because the foster home she's in now has like four other cats and dogs so it's not like a quieter place for her so that's where we come in i am going to pick her up i will introduce her to you guys um just take you guys along the process we're going to introduce duke to the cat which duke i don't think has ever been around a cat his entire life so we will see how that goes but here is just i guess a little documentation hello star you guys disregard all of the dog hair in the back but this is star hi sweetheart okay i'm gonna try and take star out for a second and just say hi before we go to the house hi oh are you so curious do you want to say hi do you want to say hi come here are you so curious hi it's nice to meet you it's nice to meet you can I pick you up? You guys are so cute. Hi. Come here. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Star. Oh. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, you guys. Hi. Oh, oh you were just the cutest. She's wagging her tail. ready to go? You ready to go? Looking at all the cars. Okay, well I'm gonna put her back and I have one more trip to do because we have to go pick up her litter box and some food from the rescue. So I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna bring her home. Yeah. We got lipstick on you, shall we? Black was a very bad color to wear today. I think I would have known. I own a white dog that literally sheds so much. You would think I would have figured this out, but just, just disregard this. There's just hair everywhere in here. Okay, we are home. Richie just took Duke out so that we could like introduce her in here without an overwhelming dog. Yeah. Say hello. Hi, sweet thing. Hi. 
Hi. Oh, is that your kitty tree? See, we got a nice kitty tree for you. Hi, Star. What do you think? Oh, okay. Are we going under the couch? Is that your kitty tree? Is that your kitty tree? Star, what are you doing under there? This is Richie, Star. Hi, Star. <laughs> Star. She's like, I'm gonna go hide. <laughs> I know. Come here. Little Star, come here. <laughs> oh, don't go under the bed. Under the couch. Come here. The Duke is going crazy. I know. The dog is scary, huh? I know. The dog is so scary. It's okay. He'll get to know you and he'll be okay, huh? Yeah. Oh. What a good girl. So sweet. So sweet. Hi. Hey, Star. <laughs> oh, the He's barking. He's going crazy, huh? He's going crazy. Okay, so this is the litter box that we have. And then they gave us this litter. It's like crystals. Apparently, she has a preference. She likes the crystals better. Didn't know cats could have preference. So I'm going to fill it up and then get her food situated to hopefully help her feel a little bit more comfortable. See, there's your litter box. There's your litter box. Are you gonna hang out there all day? You guys, we've been home for a few hours and she is still under the couch. We're just trying to let her be and see if she'll venture out. But we might have to introduce her to Duke tomorrow when she's a bit more settled in. Duke is on the other side of the door. Is that Duke? You don't want to say hi yet? <laughs> He's like right there. His nose is poking through. Yeah. Good morning. How was your first night? Oh. Alright, little morning update on Star. So we put her in this little room that's in between um, our bathroom and bedroom so that she kind of had a smaller space to get comfy and explore. We read online that that helps them like adjust to a new place. And she is like out and cuddly and exploring. I think she wants to meet Duke but she's scared. <laughs> Every time Duke sees her, he just keeps his distance. He, like, is waiting for her to come up to him. Yeah, you're a good girl. What do you think? What do you think of all this, huh? Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> He's like, who is in here? Who is in here, Duke? Who is in here? He walked right by her. I know. Look at her. Who is in here? <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I left the house and the kitty and I am running errands and of course I'm at Petco right now because I need to get her treats. Probably gonna get Duke a toy because like we can't play favorites here. Um, so I'm gonna go, I wanna try getting her catnip um see if we can find that and then her previous foster told us that she likes those like string like the pole with the string and the toy on the bottom so we're gonna try and find that see if we can get anything for duke maybe like a bone we'll see i'll do a little pet store haul
Okay. All right. Okay, here's a little pet store haul. Um, so we got a little stick thing. This was the cheapest one they had. It's like $4. Hope she loves it. And then I got this little feathery fish. We have like a feathery mouse that she loves. So I was like, cute. Overpriced. This is $4. But, you know, whatever for the queen. And then <laughs> I got these deodorizing wipes because she kind of smells a little bit. So if anyone has tips or whatever on just keeping cats smelling good I know they clean themselves and I feel like I don't know if you give them baths I need to do research but I got these to hopefully like wipe her down and then we have a brush at home to brush her and just like clean her up got her some soft chewy treats and then I got let's see I got Duke this bone filled bone these are like his favorite things in the world we got him like a uh, super plush toy for Halloween so figured I'd switch up and get him a new bone and then I got this catnip spray I was gonna get regular catnip and then I saw this and I was like oh I'm gonna try this instead did a little pit stop got some coffee new Christmas cup it's the um, salted caramel sweet cream cold brew it was in between this one and the pumpkin and like are we over pumpkin yet because it's november like am i on to christmas drinks i don't know mm, so good here we go let's get our nails done this isn't even like a cat vlog anymore i don't know what i'm doing this is just my day but i promise i will get back to the cash early all right you guys got my nails done I feel like today's a good day. So I picked up chips and queso. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm gonna go home, back to Star, play with the kitty, give her her toys. Honestly, probably take a little Saturday nap. Chill out. Or in a good mood. Mm. In case you're curious, this is what my nails look like. Just like, I think it's called bubble gum just clear I got not clear what it's like an opaque pinky color but I just got well I already had tips on so I just got it filled with acrylics and then gel on top I feel like these always last the longest for me which is why I like them they last like three weeks until they grow out and they like look pretty good a little too pink I wish they had more of a like opaque tan but we're fine whatever so let's go Back to the kitty, give her her toys. Sit, good boy, are you the best foster brother ever? Do you get a treat? Oh yes you do. Hi, I missed you. Look, do you want a treat? I want you a treat. Sniff it, check it out. You don't want it? No? I'll leave it right here for you. What about this? I got you a little fishy. Got you a little fishy. Oh. Why? She. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dookie, careful, careful. <laughs> Stop. Is he crazy? <laughs> Oh, good job. Look at love. There you go. it's the next day yes i am still in the same sweatshirt and i'm trying to bribe her to come play with this little thing she's over right here
You ready to pounce? Oh no! <laughs> well, anyways, I think I'm going to cut the vlog off here. I feel like she is kind of settled into our place. Tried to capture a video of her and Duke interacting, but honestly, they don't interact at all. Like, if one's on one side of the room, the other is on the other side of the room. But I'm sure there will be much more star kitty footage in future vlogs and everything. I will keep you guys updated. Obviously, follow along on her whole story and journey over on Instagram. I share a bunch over there and always love to keep you guys updated with all of the fosters. I always get this question about where I foster through and how I found them. So I actually foster through through this organization called Pacific Pups, which I will link below. If you can't foster, they are always taking donations. They also sell a bunch of toys on Amazon and all of the proceeds from that go directly to all of the animals that they rescue. But I specifically found mine through Pet Finder. Pet Finder just has this like part of their website where you can search um, different rescues that are taking on new fosters. So that's where I found them. Maybe I'll do like a full on Q&A another day. Say bye to the vlog fam star. Say bye.